Hi guys, um, welcome to our second episode of, um, <laughs> of Life of Pros. Um, today we are going to be doing something really excited. Um, you might have seen in our previous video about the Python. Yeah, um, we told you about it. Yeah, our Python downloading. But And you might have heard our IDEs. Now we're going to show you how to install a really good IDE. And it's called... PyCharm. Yay! It's quite famous for Python. Though. It's really good. Um, you can also write HTML on it. Yeah. You can... So what you do is... um, uh, We're going to be teaching you how to install it. And we're also going to be teaching you how to use it. But you need to know how to use basic IDEs. So let's get started. Because it's a bit different to normal Python. Yeah, it's a bit different, but it's much better. So it's much easier. So we want you to get used to that instead of using the normal Python. So you can write code easier and faster yeah sure so first thing you need to do always is go jetbrains but dot it's com. dot com but go no sorry Jet you don't do you don't do that you go jetbrains jetbrains dot jetbrains jetbrains uh jetbrains 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 <laughs> i don't know why i kept saying jetbrains jetbrains okay uh, spelling dot com dot com um forward slash and you go item. yeah so okay it should so, take you on something yeah it should take you onto something like this make sure it's really like this and make sure it has https because that means the website's safe um most of the time anyway so <laughs> yeah so we have this pie charm and you just click on download that's literally all you have to do it's really easy to it's do. really easy um you just click on download and yeah we've already downloaded as you can see but right click here. On download now. Uh, i'll just click on that and, and see now it goes into here and you always go into community because unless you want to pay money yeah it's uh, not that better but um you can write more code with it and, and hey you can write html with it as well if you want to pay and you get a free trial yeah. But um, I like community. That's what we're we using have. it right now. Yeah. So it's better if you do. I'll quickly just close this, so I'll show you how it looks. Um. So yeah, and you can have Mac and in Linux as well. So it just downloads it for whatever operating system you're on. So that's downloading Python. Okay. Python. 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 <laughs> so now how you open it is you have to go into um your file explorer and go into actually your downloads folder and pick it up from there you can pin it to your start like we did and yeah. we're gonna but you can also you can also just type it up here yeah. as well like for example PyCharm and I can see PyCharm but I pinned it to my start so I'll just go like that and when you click it something like this should happen yeah. Yeah. Also, one more thing will happen for you. It won't load a project. It'll ask you to create a project. Yeah. But just keep on clicking next. Add a name for your project. Yeah. And name it. You can name it YouTube videos or tutorials or something. Yeah. Um. And then anyway, we're gonna show you how to create a new project. Yeah. Okay. So, like I mentioned before, guys. Um. If you watched my previous video, make sure if you want to use PyCharm please make sure that you haven't installed it from the Microsoft Store if you're using it on a Windows. What happens is that it doesn't pick up an interpreter um, and it won't work. You need to download it from the web if, um, yeah, and we show you that in the video. Yeah, and also, when you, set, you have to make sure you have Python ready. Yeah. You have to have installed Python 3.8 yeah. or any other Python. Yeah. To see how to do that, just go into our previous video yeah. and then you set that as the interpreter. Yeah. So now, so as, as you can see, I just have a bunch of old um, files here. And this is a project. I call it Pies. But um, what I'm going to do is you can create a new project. Right? So this is what um, you so might you have. File new project. This is what you will have because since you've just re-installed um, it. Um, so I'm just going to have a look. So you go, so here, let's, let's make it Python Pros. In the location, it should go C, C drive slash users slash your yeah. whatever your user yeah. is slash Python project slash and then you yeah. type out the name. Of yeah, your so see how I have python.exe? That will not show because whenever you install it on the Microsoft Store, it doesn't install it to actually your file. So if you install it from the web, it should show like this. Uh, for your base interpreter, um, choose py 
Python. Yeah. And, uh, for Python both of them, actually. Yeah. And then you go, yeah. Oops. Oh, that's, that's, anyway. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And I'll just make sure it's there. Okay, and now. And um, here it. Global set packages. No, I'll just say it. Okay, now we're gonna create. The, um, we'll just open it in this window. That means we'll replace the project that we had opened before with yeah. a new project. But you can still open old stuff. Yeah, you can still open new project from this. It, it just takes a while to manage. Because you've just created a new project and you need to create a new environment with all the new stuff. And it has to index a lot of things. Yep, it just takes a while. Um, yep. See, now it's starting to actually. Yep, so as you can see, we just waited for it to load, and uh, we've loaded it now. So, now we have a new uh, file called, um, new project. Yeah, new project, actually. This is how, this should be how it looks like. Yeah, so what you do to start um something is you go if you want to create a Python, file, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start with Python. Yeah. Now. So you go Python file. You, you right click on your project, so yeah. whatever the file, and you click um and file then, new, and then you hover over new, and then um left yeah. click once on Python. Exactly file. like I said. Um, but yeah. So and it asks you for the name. Yeah, it asks you for the name. We'll just call it a uh, Bungie. Bungie. <laughs> yeah, so see, really simple. You got a new project. Um, you can also make text files like this um, by just naming it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's fine. And you can do many more. Another one is a Python. Oops. Uh, flower. Okay, so that's just something to do with the file. Yeah, so that's fine. So do so, shell. This is the wait. Is it the do we? Yeah. No. Um. It will go to the terminal. So right now, this is like if you um have seen a bunch of other videos to install um a lot of third party libraries, you go to here command prompt. Yeah. But the such a handy thing about here is you just go to terminal and you go pip. So for ex uh, install you, we don't need we don't need to show them this right now, but this is basically a command. I'll just give them a um uh example numpy. So um, numpy is okay. We'll explain that to you later. Yeah, in a so basically it has command prompt built into Python. Yeah. And it has all the features available. But but it won't. So like you some third party libraries you need to install um like here. like if you want to do graphics you can't just use whatever it's yeah. already built into Python yeah. you might want a bit more so you need to install that um using your command prompt yeah and also you need to right um I'm just thinking <laughs> yeah it won't work if you go into the Python you need to install if you if you want to um use it on Python you need to go into actually Python and do that like. A uh, command. Prompt. We'll show you what we mean. Yeah. So let's start writing some code. So wait, open. we'll just press enter and you see what happens? It collected numpy and yeah, it's installed it. Um, so you have to do this for every project. Yeah, you can you can type that in if you want. This yeah. Is, this for example. Um, we're just gonna just do really simple code. Um, but I'm gonna show you how it works. Yeah, we're okay. just gonna show you, and then we're gonna make another tutorial maybe. So you just do the basic. So see how good it is. It gives you a drop down menu. You just click on that. But you can just click enter. Yeah. And, one of them. Yeah. And then look, instead of typing a phrase, if you instead of typing two speech marks, let's click on one. It types in two for you and it goes in the middle. Yeah. It's much easier. You go, hello. Okay. Oops. And yeah. um like that. And Okay, so yeah, here we add click a configuration. On, the configuration we want to add is basically Python. So click on the add button. Oh, uh, sorry, okay, sorry. add. Click on the plus button. Yep. The plus button. Uh, oops. Um, Python. Yeah. And we're just gonna set it to Python three point eight. Yep. And we'll press OK. So just make sure you guys do that. Unnamed. Yeah. Just this. 
Okay, now it's run a code and. Oh no, it will not run a code because we need to run this. Run Bungie. See? See, I have a Prince Hello. So basically, that that's a built in something um you can. Yeah. That's just one line of code we yeah. do. So, um what it does is it actually just prints hello, text yeah. hello on the yeah. screen. When it's text, uh, programmers use the um word strings to classify text. So yeah. basically, that is a text. If you um, there's also integers, which is like um numbers. Yeah. Um, there's and then there's floats, which is actually not whole numbers. There's like yeah decimals and everything. We'll explain more about actual the programming language in our tutorials. Yeah. But so we're this gonna is just kind of extras, I guess. Yeah. Uh, one thing is, if you wanna like, if you have a line of code. They're just useful, useful for later yeah. when we keep on like writing bigger programs. Yeah. Um, when you want to like do the sa same line of code again and you can't use a loop, yeah. uh, which is like you just press Control D and it actually yeah. duplicates that yeah. and moves it to the next line. It's pretty good. And also, it can tell you um. And you can also, if I make a time. mistake, like if I, oops, um, <laughs> if I just do a uh, random, yeah. And see, it tells you um what the mistake is. It's a unresolved reference, which is pretty much a syntax error. Yeah, it's an error in the syntax is basically the way you write code. Yeah. So print if you write it without if we write it with the brackets, it's basically the wrong syntax. Yeah. Code. So to for the code to work and for the computer to understand the code, you need to write it in the correct syntax. Yeah. That's what we'll be teaching you, basically. Yeah. So I guess that's how you use Python for you. Um, thank you for watching. Um, part, um, we'll see you guys in the next video, and maybe we'll make something. Yeah. yeah, we'll make a bunch of codes, and we will teach you more about Python because that's what we're gonna be using. Please install it. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. And leave a like on this video if you liked it, and share it with your friends if yeah. you think it will be useful to them. Yeah. Uh, and I bid you goodbye. And this is Python Press. Dunno.